hope you're well welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name is Seppi um, I can actually take this mask off because I'm alone in the office right now today is the 1st of January 2022 and I just started the year in hospital um, so it is currently 3 10 a.m. and I am halfway through my first night shift of the year I guess um, but I wanted to use this year as a chance to start a new series for you guys, so a diary of a junior doctor and bring you along with all the things I get up to. Um, today is, well tonight today is a super busy day because um, some people have been unwell because of Covid so um, we're having to cover a few more bases than we usually would. Um, but nonetheless it's been challenging but really good and I um taking a short break just to have a little drink um and to have a chat with you guys um and just to bring you along on the journey of what it's like to be a doctor and working in the pandemic um which i'm sure a lot of you guys would want to know what it's like if you are an aspiring doctor or if you're just interested um i just thought maybe i could start a whole new series this year so hopefully you guys will enjoy this um, I've had quite an interesting start to the year, so before the countdown to the new year I actually certified the death of a patient and then watched the fireworks, I'll insert a clip um, from the window, we watched it from the window, um, seeing it into the car park for about two minutes. And then my bleep went off, so that ended quite abruptly and then I certified another death and I've just been doing loads of other different jobs. Now I am done documenting for the patients that I've seen and how it works in the evening is that I get bleeped basically by um, the hospital at night team um, who let me know who needs to be reviewed. So if there's a patient with chest pain, which is an example of a patient that I've seen tonight, or um, for example stroke patients, um, there's loads of different stuff to be seen. So I definitely learn a lot on the job. Um, I'm kind of talking with a lower tone as well because I don't want to wake anyone up. Even though I'm in the office, um, I don't want to wake up the patients outside of the office. But yeah, I'm going to go have a quick drink and then if I get bleeped, then I get bleeped and you guys will be along with me. Even though I work here in the daytime, I still get really lost and confused sometimes at night time trying to, yeah, even now I'm going to the wrong ward, trying to find my way to the right ward. just got home it is 10 a.m um there was a point where i was like sitting in my car for like five minutes because i just didn't want to get out because i was so tired but i want to do a learning point each night after my shift that i'm vlogging so something that i saw that was a big kind of thing that i learned from maybe even something small that I may have usually missed, that I didn't, and that I want to remember forever. So tonight's learning point was um, one of the patients that I was called to see, because that's usually what happens in nighttime by the way, is you are only ever called to see patients who are really unwell. So I was called to see a patient who has dementia and who is very confused um, and it was breathing really fast. The patient had come in because of the being confused on the background of dementia but the breathing very fast was new so every doctor checks um, airway um, you check their breathing so that includes listening to their lungs checking their oxygen levels um, you check their circulation which includes listening to their heart checking their blood pressure and their pulse doing an ECG um, and then you do um, disability, so you check their GCS, which is the Glasgow Coma Scale, which I won't get too much into. Um, you check their glucose and you check everything else, um, but you do it in that order, which is A, B, C, D, E. And um, I didn't really find anything in kind of the airway or the breathing section, which I thought you know makes sense, right? Rest, 
respiratory rate has gone up surely you know maybe i'll hear some crackles when i listen to the lungs or maybe they're needing a lot more oxygen all of a sudden but none of that had changed but when i went on to feel this patient's tummy i could feel their bladder really hard above their umbilicus above their belly button so i asked for a bladder scan which is like a scan you can do by the bed um literally the same way you would do a jelly scan for a pregnant lady except bladder scanners are really smart like they can tell you instantly just by putting the scanner on top of the bladder with some jelly how much urine is inside the bladder now you usually get the urge to wee at around 350 mls yeah um and you don't once you pass urine you want your bladder to be like pretty much empty um so this patient had over one liter of urine in their bladder so that's called urinary retention and that is why they were breathing fast so it was really interesting for me because you wouldn't usually think that you know it would manifest itself in that way so that was my learning point for the night but now i'm going to wash my face take off this makeup and go to sleep and get ready to do this all over again tonight but hopefully wake up a bit earlier so that I can be a bit productive. So we'll see what we get up to, you guys will see. my face it's 4 15 i've edited my youtube video um yesterday so i'm going to upload that i need to make the thumbnail and do all of like the description blah 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 all the technical stuff so i'm going to do that whilst i eat food um downstairs there's only pizza and cheddar kebab i don't know if i'm in the mood for either of those so we'll see what happens it's 4 20 i don't know if i said that already my headache has gone down a bit but when i woke up initially i had that headache because you're just so you're so tired when you wake up but yeah let me wash my face brush my teeth guys look what a surprise who's joined me on my night shift it's not every day that uh well it's the first time ever that Sina and i are working I together um and on it's a night shift went, like we went into medical school i was like oh my god i can't wait till me and you work in the same i'll hospital. actually insert a clip of someone capturing the moment where we were screaming about <laughs> like manifesting this day like a year ago we were like oh my god there's gonna be a day well yeah <laughs> It wasn't one year ago, it was like nine months one year ago. ago. Yesterday. No, nine months it ago. It was on your birthday. Eve. It was your birthday. Oh. Um, so, yeah, here we are working a night shift together. Um, we have just been seeing patients. Um, oh, um, we will answer the bleep and come back to you. You know what I hate about nights is this bit. You come out and the sun is in your eyes and it's burning. Ugh. Tiring. Look at this, please. My car is a mess. Ugh. 
So I just got in my car, I finished my shift. Sina finished an hour and a half before me, she finished at 7.30 because she was locum in yesterday, well, last night. So what that is, is a bit like a supply teacher, let's say. So um, if there is um, a staff shortage, like there's a space available for staff um, to come in and work, then you can put a locum out and then a doctor will come and fill up that locum. So that is literally what Zina did. So she worked with me. She doesn't usually work in my hospital. So it was really, really nice. We had our dinner together as well, which was nice on a night shift. It's quite rare, very rare to have dinner with your friends. Um, so yeah, it was really nice. I think in all the night shifts I've had, in medicine, like in medical specialties. I've always managed to have a friend to eat food with, <laughs> um, which I'm happy about. So tonight's interesting case, let's say, was um, a patient who was on a blood thinner um, who fell over and hit their head. They needed a CT head because anyone on blood thinners who hits their head needs to have a bleed ruled out. This patient, after having a CT head that was normal, then fell again and hit their head. Um, and I was wondering, do we just CT them again or if they're still symptomatically fine, do we not CT head them? And my registrar said that no matter what, you have to CT head them, even if they had one an hour ago, because that is what the NICE guidelines say. So that was my learning point for the day. Yeah, I don't know if that was an interesting one. But anyway, let's go home now. I don't know why I'm sitting here rambling to you guys. Also, I ate so much rubbish on tonight's shift, I actually cannot cope with myself. Like, just in the past 24 hours, I've had so much to consume. I had one, a nurse gave me like a chocolate waffle thing that was in a packet, like, so it wasn't a fresh one, it was a packet one. But it looked appetizing, and then when I ate it, it wasn't that appetizing, but I still didn't stop eating it. So, Oh my god, that lighting, I'm so sorry guys. Um, but yeah, still at that chocolate waffle and um, I'm regretting it. Oops. Hopefully I'll wake up and go to the gym. We'll see. I think I'm just going to try and sleep and then go to gym. Also, there's an eagle in front of me. Or is it a crow? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to go home. I'm in bed on my laptop going to watch some YouTube. Hopefully it'll keep me awake for a bit because I want to push back the time that I fall asleep so that I wake up a bit later because waking up at 3.30pm yesterday was a bit too early for me. I mean, I wasn't, to be honest, I wasn't particularly like tired in the night time. I was quite okay. Um, but I think that was because there was so much to do that I was just constantly on my feet. Um, so waking up a bit later will mean that I'm just a bit more refreshed. I mean, you know how like you wake up and you go to work. Um, well, I guess some people like don't do that, but you know, I wake up, I like get ready and I go to work. So I come straight from well-rested sleep, straight from well-rested sleep to work. So I wanna try and do that tonight. So I'm just gonna try and keep myself awake with YouTube. So I'll see how successful I am. It is currently 10, 13 a.m. So we'll see. So the time is 8.20 p.m. My plan succeeded. I woke up at 7.30 p.m. Technically I woke up at four and then I was awake for about 15 minutes and then I fell back asleep and I woke up at 7.30 p.m. because Sol woke me. So that means I actually slept through the whole day, which was amazing in terms of I feel well rested, but sad in terms of like I didn't, when I woke up I didn't really have time to do anything for me. So I fell asleep about two minutes into watching that YouTube video last night which well this morning which was really good um does anyone by the way like go to bed watching me let me know because like i love those youtubers that you can watch before sleep who like are really calm and then there are some that you need to watch with full energy so i wonder if any of my vlogs i think with me it's probably a bit of both isn't it sometimes i'm super calm sometimes i've got something wild going on and you all have to stay awake for it <laughs> Not saying that you should watch my vlogs to go to sleep. Okay, you know what I'm saying. But anyway, when I woke up, I've had basically 20 minutes to eat and change. I don't want to wear makeup. I've just got lip balm on. And that's mainly because I always, I don't, um, I often wear makeup when I go to work. One, even though you're wearing a mask, I think it's nice to look presentable for yourself and for your patients. Two, um, it stops me from touching my face as much. Um, because naturally when I have makeup on, I don't touch my face. Um, 
but the only time that I don't is when I've had makeup on let's say all week and I need a break um or if one time I, I use that one time I use that tiger um cream by Sikapair and the gra the grass one the grass cream broke me out completely so I couldn't wear makeup then and um sometimes I wear it yeah sometimes I don't wear it as well because I just feel like a breakout coming up or just my skin needs a break so tonight I feel like my skin needs a break so I'm not gonna wear any makeup just got my little lip balm on and um and I've got this jumper on um which when I'm in the office I can just throw it back on when I'm not seeing patients and it will keep me warm because sometimes sometimes the hospital can be a bit cold so yeah it's good to have a jumper but this is my last night which i'm so happy about um so if you work the weekend then you only do friday night through to monday morning um and then if you work the weekdays then you do monday night through to friday morning um and then i'll get tuesday off to recover and then back to work on wednesday so that's how my timetable works and i think as i've explained like on nights you basically are not really going to see every single patient you literally just go and see patients who um, they're no longer stable and something has changed in their health or something that's come up for them or they're complaining of chest pain for example so um, those are the kind of things that you see on night time so I hope that this has been quite insightful for you guys so let's go ahead on to my final night I got this new Kiehl's set from my sister for Christmas sign so I got it for me um, just like as a random stocking thing, so I'm gonna start using it. It's the age-defying essentials one and inside it is a full-size power strength line reducing concentrate containing hyaluronic acid. So I feel like this is the serum that you wear underneath your moisturizer and then there is a super multi-corrective cream this one's a sample size and it's a powerful strength reduce powerful strength line reducing dark circle diminishing vitamin c eye cream so i'm going to start with the eye cream um and then i'm going to put the serum because it is winter time i should probably explain that today is wednesday and my night's finished on monday morning um i'm sorry i didn't vlog much on the actual night that night it was really really busy um so i just didn't really have time and there was more people in the office it was not as easy to vlog with people around. But now is Wednesday and I haven't vlogged in between either because actually one thing that I've been struggling with my past two set of nights, I'm just gonna, wait, is this a face wash? Cleanse skin thoroughly prior to application. Apply morning and night before your moisturizer. Okay, yeah, so I'm right, it's serum, but it's just so big. Um, yeah, so basically last two night shifts that I've had, I have been struggling with going back to my normal sleep regime after so i'm quite good at adapting into the night shift but coming back out of it oh my god this is burning my face i think it's the hyaluronic acid it just says avoid the eye area um my face looks much redder in the camera than it does in my mirror but um yeah, i'm gonna let this sink in for a few minutes before I put my moisturiser on. The past two sets of nights I've had, I've been struggling so much with being able to get back into my normal sleep routine after my nights are over. And I think it might be to do with the fact that I'm so exhausted that I like sleep properly right after my night's done. Whereas what you're kind of meant to do is take a like a few hour nap, wake up and then go back to bed at your normal time. Um, and I haven't been doing that, which isn't good. Um, so I went back to work today and I had not had the best amount of sleep. So I was honestly really tired by the end of the day. I was fine through, like in the beginning of the day, it felt like a night shift, but towards the end I could feel myself getting tired. So um, yeah, I came home, had a couple of hours nap and then um, had dinner with my family, relaxed a bit, and it is now 11 p.m. and I'm going to get into my bed and revise. I'm going to revise until about 1 a.m. because I have an exam coming up, um, and then I'm going to go to bed and I'm going to try wake up to go to the gym, but we will see what happens. Um, I woke up really early today, obviously, like I said, because my sleeping pattern is so messed up, and even if you don't do anything, it just feels so nice to be awake that early when the whole world is still asleep like there is a reason why there's a million youtube videos about waking up early so i'm going to try and um wake up a bit earlier so that i can go to the gym finishing off talking about night shifts i feel like um yeah sleep adjustment is definitely a difficult 
thing. Ironically, it's more difficult to go back to your normal routine than it is to fit into the night routine. I think um, in the night time, you run off so much more adrenaline that you are awake um, and then you settle into the pattern of going to bed at, at a different time. But coming back into your normal routine is hard. It's a bit like Christmas holidays. I don't know if you guys were like me when you were a kid. But um, when I had Christmas holidays, I would basically sleep, go to bed at like 4 a.m. And then when I had to go back to school, it was so hard because I had to get back to my normal pattern of going to bed earlier. And this feels exactly like that. So yeah, um, I think for the next episode of Diaries of a Junior Doctor, I will bring you guys along to a normal like ward week for me, which is my day job. My current day job is on care of the elderly. So I was on trauma and orthopedics and now I've moved to care of the elderly. I moved one month ago exactly and I've got three months left on this placement but I love it. Um, so hopefully I can get more into details about that. I hope that like so far I've given you guys a good insight into nights. I have another set of nights coming up at the end of January so um, if there's more questions you guys want to know, if there's something else on that aspect of it that you guys want me to film then let me know and I can film it in the next set of nights. I can maybe like do a question as we go along um, throughout the night shift, like just do a question at a moment or something. So yeah, if that's a good idea, then let me know. Also, England is super, super cold right now. It is one degrees. So I have dressed like a snowman. My face has stopped burning as well, but yeah, I have dressed like a snowman. And my new habit is just constantly making my bed. Um, wow, been working so much on my mental health in the past week alone. I feel like I've been making leaps and bounds. Weirdly, like last night, I feel like I was having like a panic attack in bed, but I feel like it wasn't even a panic attack, but more like revelations of things that I need to do to work on my mental health. And it was like so eye opening for me. And one of the main things that I would say has helped me is um, Stephen Bartlett's diary with CEO. Can't stop talking about this guy, obsessed with his podcast like it is he's literally made it to help people and i feel really helped i'm gonna start buying Huel just because he advertises it 24 7 in the middle and i love him so yeah hashtag influenced I was going to show you guys some random pair of shoes that I bought in the sale but I realised I didn't show you my main Christmas present either from my sister so I've just got it here so I might as well show you guys. So we've got a little a couple of new stuff that I've got recently but um, I got these heels from the Naked Wolf sale. They had 30% off and I'm obsessed with these. I don't know what they're called. Um, but like they they don't have like a huge range of shoes so if you go on the Naked Wolf website then you will easily find these. Um, I will link them down below if any of you guys want to buy it. Unfortunately the sale stopped because as soon as these arrived, it took ages for them to arrive by the way because of the two sets of bank holidays. Um, but when they did arrive finally, uh, I was like oh I wish I bought the knee high boots as well in the sale and I went back on the website and the sale has sadly ended. Um, but hopefully there will be another round of sales and I will get those knee high boots because they are so hot. Um, but yeah, I love these. They're really chunky. They're quite heavy. If anyone has had um, Balenciaga Triple S trainers or something similar to the Balenciaga Triple S trainers, then this is basically like the same or if not a little bit more heavier, but I don't mind the weight of the triple S's. Um, so yeah, if you guys don't like heavy heels, don't buy these because they're really heavy, but they're quite comfy. I haven't walked around in them yet, but like the padding is super, super soft. It's obviously got such a thick heel and such a big platform that it's not really gonna be difficult to walk on. So I just thought these are perfect for a night out because they're super high, they're quite cool and funky. Um, they've got the strappy detail and I can just wear them for hours without my feet hurting too much. Then my main Christmas gift from my sister. Ah! Um, I was so shocked about this. So in my family, we do secret Santa and um, everyone gets like a, a family member and we basically buy one gift for that person. I don't know why we came up with it, but I think as a student and also when my sisters were students, it really made more sense for us to just put all of the money that we wanted to spend on the Secret Santa as well on one person um, rather than buying loads of tiny gifts for everyone. So um, yeah, I think as like time went on, we just kind of stuck to the idea and obviously um, the gifts have got more extravagant as my sisters and I have got paid more. 
girls um proud of us uh, but yeah um this was a super super nice gift from my sister i absolutely love it so um i got this box and i was like shocked because she asked me she was like i know your secret santa is what do you think you'd want for christmas and i literally just chose um a pair of new balance trainers which I, by the way i kind of wish i'd bought them myself they'd gone down in the sale to 60 pounds and they were super trendy and they were the last one in my size um and a pair of like adidas trackies that were like 30 quid and she literally comes through with this i should have known it was her um who was my secret santa but um isn't she beautiful oh, if you guys follow me on instagram you've already seen i have debuted her um she is why do i keep calling my bag a she i need to i need to stop doing that it's so cringe but this bag is so beautiful with or without the chain so how it works is like you twist it and then it pops open like this and then it's got like the off-white like tag thing by the way you're not meant to rip these out like it's the style so i'm not being weird by having kept it in um and then it's got like one pocket bit here that you can fit stuff into the strap is super adjustable so you either can undo it and take it off completely like this or, or you can just make it tighter and shorter so that it hangs off you like a shoulder bag so it's up to you and then there's an extra pocket here in the front as well um the only thing that stresses me out is obviously this is so gonna get dirty super easily even now that i've touched it i'm like oh my god i had cream on my hands so um this is my favorite shade of pink by the way like as in um my favorite flowers are baby pink roses and like they have to be in this color like that is my favorite um but if any of you guys have watched my birthday vlog you've always seen people like my family always gets me baby pink roses in this color so like the fact that this bag is this color is just my uh, absolute dream what is this out here oh it's our old business cards we are getting new ones because we have big big stuff coming for our clinic i'm so so excited those of you who don't know by the way i also have an aesthetics clinic with my sisters dr s aesthetics um but yeah this bag this bag is just so beautiful i think i kind of prefer it without the strap um i like it with a strap if i'm wearing it with a coat but if i'm just going to dinner then i think i like it without the strap um a lot more so yeah i love it so much thank you so much so um it's so pretty and then you guys will see later this month what i got my mum who was my secret santa um for christmas so i'm really really excited subscribe to stay tuned because it's a really really good gift and you might be wondering why is she not getting it on Christmas Day, but you'll see when, when you see it. So that is the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below because it actually really helps me to know what kind of content you guys want to see. Like if you want to see more diaries of a junior doctor, if you want to see more about night shifts, if you want to see more of day shift, if you want to ask me particular questions, you want me to sit down and do a Q&A, if you just want to see daily like lifestyle vlogs, etc let me know and i am so happy to film them for you i love you all so much and i will see you next time bye